so much for joining us. Today I'm going to be tying up a skull head monkey fly. So just using one of these skull head type heads. Um, traditionally used for, for hook flies, but more recently in the last year so I've started to be used for a lot of salmon tubes. Okay, so just adding on our thread as always. I'm just going to wind this down to the bottom. Um, for the body of the fly, it's going to be silver holographic braid. So I'll just tie that in. It doesn't have to be too neat with braid. Okay, leaving enough space for junction tubing at the end. And then on the way back up again, I'm going to just put on some super glue on my thread, which will help hold in the, the braid and it'll never slip. Okay, now then, just work that up. Touch and turn, they can overlap. It's not the end of the world if it does with braid anyway. Okay. Till about there, I'm happy enough. A couple of turns and screw it in. And then trim off your excess. Okay, so it's going to be two wings to this fly. So the first wing is going to be an underwing, and it's going to be a fox pelt I'm going to use here. This isn't going to be a big monkey, um, so I'm going to just use fox pelt, and it'll help support the next wing underneath or above. Okay, so it's got a piece of fox pelt here. I'm keeping the guard hairs in this time. What I'm going to do is going to remove that under fur. Okay, you can brush it out if you like. I'm just removing that. Okay. I'm probably going to take a wee bit of that. It's just a wee bit too thick. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want this to extend about where the point of the hook is. So it'll help support underneath. I'm going to take it across. Tie it in about there. So I'm backwards tying it here. Which will then bring it back to about the hook. Okay, you can lie this quite flat. It doesn't have to be all in one bunch. So a couple of turns is cured in. I'm going to keep some of this, but I'm going to just try and taper it a little bit. Okay, and then that'll help support the wing underneath. Pull the wing back. Now, don't be tan on top, but just create like a, a wall of thread. The next few things will help keep that back anyway okay so next we need a bit of wax on our thread and we're gonna tie in our hackle so it's just a yellow hackle quite a large hackle but it cover most of the body of this secure that in so broken off with the v and then again more turns you put on will continue to support that wing, push that wing back. But the likelihood of that wing actually wrapping up in the hook is going to be very minimal, the way it's sitting at the moment. Okay. Then I want to take our scissors and start to crane the fibres downwards. Okay. And then we'll start wrapping on our hackle. This hackle will also give a little bit of support for the next wing as well. Okay. You can use hand hackle if you prefer here, but I prefer 
big stiffer hackles. Okay, so a few turns to secure that in. Come off the access and then before I put on the the top wing, I'm gonna put on a few strands of um, Angelina Faber, which is basically very similar to Angel hair. I'm just gonna put that on the top and bottom. I know it's very bright, not brighter than a lot of flies, but I guess this is for spring fix. It'll be very fresh, it hadn't seen a fly before. Okay, so I'm just putting that on there about the length that I think the top line is going to be. And then I'm going to use another bit, so this is foxtail, just I'm putting us on this time because um, you get the length, as you can see. Some people would do bigger ones and even put on like some goat or in days gone by they would have used monkey hair but not less people would use that now obviously. Kinds of alternatives out there. So I'm just pulling off the, the under fur as well this. And then I'm gonna there's quite a few fry stiff guard hairs and that so I'm gonna remove as many stiff hairs as possible. Want this to be a very light, very light and mobile layer. Okay, so again, I'm going to just tease out a few. I'm actually trying to get a nice tapered teardrop. Still okay, and then just tie this in normally, it doesn't have to be tied in backwards at all. Okay. And those two winds up blending together and hopefully stay away from the hook. Now then, let's trim off our excess. <sighs> Doesn't have to be too near this stage at this stage because you are going to have. Um, going to see if I can find my sharper scissors. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too neat at this stage because you are going to have your skull head, similar to a cone head. It'll cover most of this anyway. Okay, and as you can see, that that tapered wing should look well in the water. Okay, so then what we need to do is just need to tie off the fly here. Okay, now as I said earlier, the skull heads are used for long shank lures really. Um, in fact, I've seen them in trout and salmon recently used for sea trout. So they don't normally go on to the, the tube. As you can see, the, the opening is fairly flat. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use pliers. Flatten the front of the tube. You can use your teeth, you can take it out and use your teeth as well. But this is just... To get that cone in okay and i've already put the eyes on but you do have to put the eyes on yourself okay um we better sit with it just to help secure it before i put it on okay There. Give it a wee second for the glue to dry. Okay, and then it's very important. And I, I know myself personally, I always try and cut right down to the, the actual cone itself when I'm doing a cone head. But for these, you kind of want to leave plenty of space because you want it to be thick enough to put on your tippet. So what we'll just do is we'll cut off, I've left about, that's probably well over 10 mil. And then just start burning that down. And if you do or burn it, you can't have a, well that's okay there, but if you do or burn it, 
I normally have like a, a needle or something that you can open it up. I'm happy enough with that there. Just put that back on to show you then. Okay, and that's your black and yellow skull head monkey or D monkey variant, whatever you want to call it yourself. Until next time, folks, thanks very much for watching. All the best.